Hello everyone, Archie here, and today I'm going to be going over my uh, second place uh, case tournament uh, heat soul control list. Um, I got second place at the case Ghost from the Past case tournament uh, in White Dragon Games in Wilson, North Carolina. I had a lot of fun. I think it was like 36 players, um, six rounds of Swiss, and then top eight. Um, I only had one loss in Swiss. It was to Despia. Uh, followed by CJ Turnage, who is an amazing player who I respect a lot. Really cool guy. Uh, and then I lost in finals to uh, Phantom Knight, like, cards. It was actually really cool. But, um, yeah, enough rambling. Let's just get into it, because, you know, fuck it, why not? Uh, starting off for the uh, starters, three cyber gadget. Uh, this card's insane. It's, you know, pretty good. I don't know. It's playable. Uh, three dot scaper. You just want to max out on normal summons that can also act as one card heat souls. Uh, in case you don't draw any of the like extenders, these both get two bodies, two cyber monsters on the board. Which you know, if you're being cringe, can make DPE verte uh, verte into sight stuff. Uh, that's cringe, and you're cringe if you play it. Uh, do better. Um. Then for the code talker engine, three microcoder, uh, three code generator. The microcoder, if you can, you can link these guys from the hand, which is kind of cool. Uh, microcoder, if you link it from the hand, it's going to start to spend it, uh, send it spell trap. Code generator is like a foolish burial. Uh, usually sending dotscaper to get the extension, but if you use it on field, it can search your monster. The last link from hand is a uh, code radiator. I chose this one over exporter just because it's like a level four. It's a normal summon. And like, if you use this thing from hand to like make access code, you just have a negate that like your opponent can't respond to. It's pretty cool. Uh, I did that against Blunder round four, I think. Like I shut off his um his M pen. Or no, I shut off his uh Mega Rise, I think. No, not Mega Rise. Apex Agent. There we go. I think that's pretty sure that's what it was. Um, yeah. Cool thing to do against Flunder is um, if they have like the trap, just go main phase, stay battle phase, they're gonna use it, and you can just play around everything then. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I did that against Flunder. That was interesting. Cool guy. Uh, and then one copy of Backup Secretary. Backup Secretary comes up a lot if you just need to like search, because um, you can you can search off uh, generator if you link it off from field. And it's just it's just a, if you control Cyber, special summon it. So yeah, that came up quite a lot. Backup Secretary was really, really good for me. I do enjoy just the one. Because uh, you don't really want to see it. You want to be able to search it. But like sometimes just hard opening it is really nice. <sighs> um, but I definitely like Code Radiator a lot more than um, Code Exporter. Just because it gives you good versatility going second. <clears throat> uh, three sign of mining just for the consistency. Like, Sanit Mining plus um, Dotscaper is insane. And then the one Conflict, I really wanted to play a second one. I couldn't find a second one in time, so I didn't. Simple as that. Uh, next down to the Cringe Engine. Uh, the only reason this deck works, you're playing the Brave Engine. Three Water Enchantress, three Red of Aramisir. One Fateful, two Griffin. Um, I almost played two Fateful, but I couldn't find a second Fateful. And I literally, like, I brought, I brought, like, a... A braveless version, and then I ended up getting a brave engine from someone, and I was like, okay, cool. Well, I guess I'll just play this brave, and I found my new favorite deck ever. Uh, and then the one Draco back, like the second Griffin is just so nice because like you search it and then they out it and you just search another one. And they're like, wait a minute, that wasn't supposed to happen. And then just like the foolish, this connect is like a cyber extender as well. If you send like Dotscaper and stuff. Uh, yeah, hand traps, three ash. Uh, three Valor, two Ogre, two Bell, and two Nib brings it to a nice, perfect, uh, 41 card, because I threw in the second Griffin at, like, the last minute, and I was like, screw it, I'll do it, and it worked out really well. <sighs> Sorry, I, like, just got home from, no, it's like 4 a.m. Also, shout out to Bill Plummer, he was my field center, he's pretty cool, he won me a lot of games, you know. Because, like, this was usually the Brave token. And then, like, you'd have, like, a Cyrus Gadget token or, like, sometimes an Abira token. And just Bill Plummer beatdown was pretty cool. It was the best deck, I think. 
Uh, yeah, build, build Plumber Beats is definitely the best deck for the new format. Uh, extra deck, uh, Link Spider, Karibo, Omraj, and Lingaribo. You want to have, like, a variety of Link 1s, because, like, Link Spider lets you make Vanillas into Cybers Effect Monsters. Uh, Omraj lets you turn Hand Traps into Cybers Effect Monsters. And Lingaribo is just kind of, you know, cool. Look at got a tail and shit. It's crazy. Uh, two Code Talker. I wasn't on Inverted. Inverted sucks. If you play Inverted, you're bad. Uh, one Splash Mage, this card is cool. It turns like it turns your gadget and your dotscaper into one card on Heat Souls. Uh, one update. I made this card like once. Um, and then, like, yeah, it won me the game then. But I think I had game either way. It was purely a flex. Like, this card would come up. But, like, I don't know. You usually don't have. The high, oh, you just don't have like the higher level Cyrus monsters to make it, but like you still need to play it just because it's really nice to have. Uh, Security Dragon. This I never summon this thing. Not a uh, not a singular time. I definitely replace this for a second Heat Soul. Because like the theory behind, because I'm only, I'm only like running one Heat Soul, which I guess I can just go over now. Yeah, the one Heat Soul. The theory is, is you, if you have one Heat Soul, you have infinite Heat Souls because you have um, Transcode Talker. But Transcode Talker can't revive if you summoned a non cyber that turn. So, like, you, you always want to do the brave stuff. But, like, Heat Soul doesn't need anything to just exist from the extra deck. So, I definitely cut a uh, Security Dragon <sighs> for a second Heat Soul. And, like, two Transcode just helps with OTKs. Pretty cool card. You can do, you can have, like, Hyrule Hands turn one. Or if you don't see Brave stuff, you can extend it into, like, Transcode Heat Soul, and you can also get, like, a Counter Trap. Uh, and then my funny card was Mech Knight Spectrum Supreme, because I'm clearly on the fucking spectrum for playing this card. Uh, it's, it's something Heat Soul could tag out into that's just generally annoying. I wanted to play an S-Force Justify, but, uh, I think they, I, I ordered one, but, like, they didn't have it, which was kind of cool. Because I got to play this thing, and I think I summoned it once in top eight against Blunderies. I ended up losing that game, but like I still summoned it, so that's cool, I guess. Uh, and then two access code. <sighs> you need to play two, because like you make the first one, they stop it, and you just like make the second one, and like you just win because access code's a good card. Uh, side deck. I literally threw the side deck together. Like five minutes before the tournament because I didn't even think I'd be playing this list for when the tournament before the tournament started. So like reboot. Uh, I drew this and like cosmic game two against Splendor and I still lost because like I couldn't do anything because I had to like use the battle phase to beat over the thing and like you know. Uh, Heat Soul and Griffin Rider isn't very good against um the the Harpy Trap. It says no, but I still ended up winning that game. Uh, which is uh, not game, but match to so move into top four. Uh, three token collector. I think I started this quarter like what? Uh, in top eight. No, sorry, the red reboot thing was top four because uh, I played like the base deck, the 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 combo synchro red rose deck in top eight against a good friend of mine, Chris Long. Yeah, he's pretty cool. But yeah, I decided this, it was just dead in my hand because he bricked, which was cool. Uh, Mind Control, I'm a pretty cool card. Like, I'm, I'm coping on it, but like, Toad Talker is just two effect monsters. You just like, take one of them off. I never drew it. I sat it in like, every game. Every time I was going second, I sat it in. I don't know, I never drew it. I'm still coping on it, though. I think it's good. Uh, 3D Barrier. I lost to Brandon Despia. Because I needed Heat Soul to top deck me any like, Cybers extender to force a game three. But instead of top, uh, top deck's key barrier, which was kind of cringe, I uh, didn't do anything. Uh, Feather Duster, two Cosmic, and like a Quinn. Uh, I couldn't find a third Cosmic, I guess. I literally like had my friends, as I was like putting the deck together, I literally like, asked my friend, leader my friends, like, hey, can you look at my binder and find like twin twisters? And he only found one, so I was like, okay, I have Cosmics, I think. So I just played that. And then three Dark Ruler. Uh, I cited this in a couple times, and I never drew it. I was, I think, like, the only time I resolved a card in my side deck was, um, the Cosmic and the Red Reboot in top four against Flunder. 
Uh, other than that, you don't really need a side deck since the main deck's just kind of perfect. It's it's just straight up the best deck. Uh, unless you're playing against Phantom Knights, uh, then it's not the best deck. Then Phantom Knights is the best deck. Uh, yeah. That that's that's about it. Goodbye.